Hi, today I am once again doing a command tutorial, and this time I'm gonna show you how to create some sort of like bed wars system. And this is it right here. You're going to need a command block, uh, a chain command block, a repeating command block, a redstone comparator, dust, a repeater. And you're also going to need a bed, uh, just to, you know, test it, see if the system actually works. And of course, if you do not know how to get a command block, you just have to type this command right here, slash give add s command underscore block. And you can change the type of command block right in here, so you don't actually need to do the command again to get chain and repeating. And I personally thought you did have to do the command three times if you wanted to get all the different types of command blocks, but no, it's much simpler than that, uh, which is really nice. Oh yeah, you'll also need a redstone block and a sticky piston. Wow, that fills up the hotbar perfectly. So this is the first repeating command block. It's just, it doesn't matter where it's facing. It just has to be a repeating command block, unconditional, always active, execute on first tick, delay in ticks zero. Yeah, you might want to reduce lag by increasing the delay, but it might be fine like this. And then you of course have the repeater right here. I don't think it matters if it's on subtract or not. And then one piece of redstone dust, the repeater's sticky piston right here. It's gonna get powered by this repeater and it'll make it so that the spawn point of anybody on red team will be set to like I think right here but you can just set those coordinates to wherever you want that team to spawn and the command is slash spawn point at a in brackets tag equals red close brackets negative 5 4 20 for those coordinates what and yeah that's just going to make it so that you will actually respawn where you're supposed to sorry for the jump scares i don't even know if that's loud to you but i keep jump scaring myself by doing that Anyways, so once when the bed is broken, this piston will retract and bring this redstone block uh, over here, which is going to make the spawn point up there on like a barrier cube that people can spectate from because we don't have spectator mode on here, sadly. But if you were to do this on Java Edition, you could just probably turn everybody on red team into a spectator. And the command for this is slash spawn point at A, tag equals red, and the coordinates of wherever your spectator box will be. And the first of these chain command blocks will be doing the title. The command is slash title at A, tag equals red, title bed destroyed. And if you want it to be this red color, or like any color, you need to get this character right here. I'm not sure what it's called, and I only know how to get it on Xbox. So if you go into the keyboard on Xbox, find this character I just typed in, it's like a backwards P. And then if you hold A while you're over that, then go to the right one, and press A, you'll get that character right there. And depending on what number you put right here, it'll be different colors. It can also be this, if you put a K there. And it works with other letters too, to get more specific shades of colors. But for this, since it's red team, I'm going to do 4 for deep red. And the next one is slash tell at a red team's bed has been destroyed and what that's gonna do is it's gonna pop up a message in chat that that says 
red team's bed has been destroyed, and that's going to be shown to everybody. Just to make sure they all know to go kill red team. And all these chain command blocks are of course on no delay, always active, and conditional. If it's not on conditional, things could break, just pretty much always do your chain command blocks conditional unless the situation calls for something different. This third chain command block is going to play that ender dragon growl. You just need to type slash play sound mob dot ender dragon dot growl at a tag equals red. And the tag equals red is of course in brackets if you're watching the video. Then you will see that. And that's the same settings as everything else. And then this one is going to be another title that's just notifying you that you won't respawn when your bed is destroyed. Because, you know, some people might just be starting out playing Bed Wars and... Oh my gosh, it's raining again! Literally every video it rains! If we get a video that it doesn't rain in... Uh... I don't know, that'd be good, I guess. Uh, I will, I will be happy if that happens, and anyways, I'm gonna play it at a tag equals red, so that not all the people in the game get jump scared by a dragon when a different team's bed gets destroyed. And this last command block, um... I don't know why I have it on unconditional. I don't think it needs to be. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if uh, it's conditional or unconditional in this situation, but just to be safe, I'm gonna put it on conditional. And this one is slash title at a tag equals red subtitle. You will no longer respawn. And the subtitle will make it so that it appears below the Your Bed Has Been Destroyed message. And so that they don't like overlap and mess up each other. And that's all for this Bed Wars tutorial. There are of course other things like a generator and a whole lot of other commands that you'll need to make Bed Wars. And I'm not even sure that you can make an entire bed wars just with commands without like coding or stuff like that but i'll try to figure out as much as i can and just one last time i will show you what happens when the bed gets broken all right that that's all i guess uh, you can just copy this whole thing to other places in the map for all the other teams and change the tag to blue or green or yellow, depending on the team, of course. And that is all. Bye.